grab some meat or whatever you need. I'm Corey, and it's time to get into it. So today we're going to be in Diablo 2 Resurrected talking about gambling a gold dagger. We're going to explain how one would gamble a gold dagger, have the most likeliness of finding a gold dagger through gambling, why you would want one, and explaining kind of how this all works. So first off, I guess if you like what I'm doing here, like, share, comment, subscribe. You can check out my Odyssey. I'm streaming on Twitch every night between 5.30 and 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, Odyssey, O-D-Y-S-E-E dot -E com slash at Corey Allen is where all of my videos are uploaded. If something ever happens and I get banned or removed from YouTube, I will be uploading uh, on Odyssey specifically. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Corey Havoc for live streaming. All the links are in the description below. I also do have a Teespring. So, Gold Dagger. Why would you want a Gold Dagger? A level 4 required unique dagger. What makes this thing so good? Well, to put it plainly, it gives you 100% magic find. That's a pretty big thing. Having an additional 100% magic find on just your weapon is going to be amazing on just about any caster build that's used for magic finding or uh, off hands for a barbarian. If you're using an item find barbarian, two gold daggers or two Alibabas that are isted, uh, doing your shouts, doing your item find, amazing things to have. So, that's that's really the reason it gives you 100% additional magic find. Uh, how does this all work? What do I need to do this? Well, uh, gambling in Diablo 2 is a bit tricky. So let's pull up the D2 wiki and let's look at this. So gambling, uh, when you gamble, it is based on your character's level. Your character's level up to four levels above to five levels below. So it says right here, for item drops by monsters or chests, the eye level is determined by monster level or the level of the area in which the chest was found. For gambling, eye level is determined by the level of the character gambling with some randomness thrown in. The eye level is character level minus four or, or plus four <laughs> or minus five. This means that the eye level of the item will be somewhere between negative five and plus four of the character level. Thus, when trying to gamble a eye level uh, 90 modifier that has plus two character skills on an amulet, there's a 10% chance of getting it at eye level 90. Uh, getting an eye level 90 at character level 86, 50% chance at level 90, and a 100% chance at level 95 and above. Okay, what does that all mean? Essentially, if your character level is level 11, you're going to be getting item level items uh, from the level 6 to 15. Because 6 is 5 less than 11, and 15 is 4 more than 11. What this does is this allows you to make a level 11 character in Diablo 2 Resurrected or Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction, whatever it is. So level 11 and you go to Gate and you start gambling. This means the lowest item level of item you will get is item level 6. Why is this important? Well, Gold Dagger itself is an item level 6 item. It requires a character level of four to wield, but is an item level of six. So when you're on this level 11 character and you're gambling, if you get a unique and your character level is 11 and you're gambling for daggers and a unique drops, which should statistically drop one out of 2000. Now, I've already gambled over 2,000 daggers. I've dropped three and a half million gold on this, and I've yet to get one, but I also have bad luck. That's fine. 
it is what it is. It takes some time. We can't all be winners. Um, <laughs> so uh, you'll see, though, this is a list of all unique daggers in Diablo 2. You will see that the gold dagger is the only dagger that is unique that can drop at that item level. The next one you could get is the Stone Ripper Poignard, but that is required level of 32, which means the item level is much higher. So if you're gambling with this level 11 character and a unique dagger is obtained, it is guaranteed going to be a gold dagger. So what do we need to gamble a gold dagger? One, you need a level 11 character. Two, you need between 300,000 and maybe 5 million gold, depending. Like I said, I've dropped over 3 million gold already. No luck, but it is what it is. So we'll go and we'll talk to Geed and we'll gamble. Now, what's great about this is you hit the refresh button until a dagger pops up right there there's a dagger now you'll notice that daggers two of them there um where is one daggers and dirks are different so though the dirk diggler is also another low level unique that you can get from gambling the dirk and the dagger are different weapons. They look the same, they're extremely similar, but they are different weapons. So you find a page with a dagger. Then what you're gonna wanna do, control G. Why control G? Well, this changes the game graphics from current graphics to old legacy Diablo 2 graphics. This makes it to where you can just double click the dagger and you'll be able to buy them a little bit quicker than if you were in normal. So then you just fill up your inventory. You just fill it up. Make sure your inventory is empty so that you can get the most amount of daggers. And then you just look at them all. You'll get a bunch of blues. You'll get some yellows. No gold dagger. So you just sell them all back. And then you buy more. And you'll see this is the one that requires character level of 12, which means the item level is higher. And you may even get lucky and find some daggers that would be good to use, like something like uh, this, Prevent Monster Heal. That could technically be used for like a D-clone fighting. Prevent Monster Heal is useful when fighting D-clone because he heals. So if you're using a character that's maybe under geared a little bit, preventing monster heal will keep him from being able to heal himself back up. And then as you see, you just buy them all, fill your inventory. If you don't get what you're looking for, you sell them. This is something you can do over and over and over again. Gold is something that's incredibly easy to come by in this game. You go out, you find, you farm on a higher level character, and you get a bunch of gold, and it's easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. After this run, I'll be at about 4 million gold invested in this, uh, with no luck as of yet, uh, depending on if I get it here or not. But it's not really that big of a deal. It is an incredibly useful item once you have it, once you have one, once you have two, the only way to get more magic find out of an item is to get a, uh, let's see, if you get an alley bobble with two ists, or if you wanted to do like, a, but I don't even know, I guess it would kind of depend because this, you can have one socketed with an ist in it. And then maybe a six socketed item with six is in it, but at that point, why would you waste that many is unless you were going for like, you know, max MF build. 
So that's why this is so good. That's why I don't mind doing this for as long as it takes to get the gold dagger, unless for some reason an Alibaba drops. I probably have the worst luck when it comes to gambling on the server, which is fine. Um, it's really, it's not that big of a deal. I'm not too worried about it. I ain't stressing it too hard. Got a couple more pages and then we're going to call it good. Now, like I said, for me, I haven't had good luck getting this. Hopefully, though, hopefully you have far better luck. You know, there's there's people that can get this, you know, first page of daggers they buy. They'll get an Alibaba. Or there will be people like me where I've bought, like I said, over 2,000 daggers and I've yet to get it. But it is what it is. You know, you win some, you lose some. Will he get the gold dagger? I don't expect to get it. Um, I expect to probably have to buy another 2,000 or so before I get it. It's very likely that I get something better to drop before gold dagger ever drops. I mean, I got a whiz spike while I was magic finding yesterday. no luck but there you go that's how you would gamble for a gold dagger no luck for me that's fine uh like i said i didn't expect to get it i've been gambling and gambling and gambling and gambling and i've still yet to acquire this um but that's fine hopefully that means that other people are having much better luck i assume that that's you know that's i not really i assume but i hope that that's how it works because my luck is so terrible with gambling that means that somebody else's luck is far better and that's that's really what it is so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope that you found it useful if you're gambling for a gold dagger i wish you the best of luck hopefully you can get it in far less gold than i have uh, i'm at over two and a half million probably closer to three million at this point in time uh, into gambling um but you know when it's all said and done what do we do we just go back out on our higher level character and we go continue farming it's not that big of a deal no harm, no foul. Eventually we'll get it or we won't. I'm not really too uh, too stressed about it either way. Now I have read that another thing that you can do is you can go to farm a uh, cold crow, which is a character here, a, a NPC um, in Act 1. Act 1 normal, obviously. Uh, I believe it's in the Cold Plains in the hole. So let's see if we can find it, and we'll give you an example. Now, I read online that this character has the highest chance of dropping it. I don't necessarily believe that, because I don't think that Magic Finding in Diablo 2 works like that. Um, it's just never something that... It's... Diablo 2 is too randomized to have specific characters. What would likely make this character uh, the best chance, if that is the case, is that her backstory is that she stole a dagger. 
So that would, lore-wise, make it more understanding, I guess, that she would have it. And then also because of her item level. Uh, be because of her character level, the area level, that would make a... That would play a bit of a role as well. So what you're going to want to do if you don't like the gambling route or if you just want to go out and farm is go and make a normal game. Go out to the cold plains, run around until you find the hole. Should be somewhere around here. And there's good old Bishy Bosh. What up, Bishy? Did I go to the wrong zone? I'm in the cold plains. Let me read this thing again. resides in caves on the cold plains so yeah she should be in the cold plains in the caves and uh the backstory for this character as i'm continuing to run around i'll read what it says cold crow oh there it is cold crow is one of the rogues who were corrupted by andariel she stole an elegant dagger from the sisterhood and used the blade to finish off her foes visions gleamed from staring into the dagger's mirror finish. Uh, into the into the dagger's mirror finish would lead Col Cold Crow to her victims, most prized possessions, no matter how well hidden. So, I mean, you can tell by the lore of this character that obviously they are talking about the... Uh, that is not her. Uh, the the uh, 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 mind fucking frozen uh, gold dagger there we go the gold dagger so let's see if we can find her in here real quick like obviously if you're a source or if you have enigma it's going to be much quicker but i'm neither one of those i don't have an enigma because i'm a po boy from a poor family and nobody loves me and i don't have a source because um, I didn't want to start with a source. I started with a necromancer, then I made a paladin, because paladins are, in my opinion, a lot easier to magic farm, magic find and farm pretty much everywhere than a source is. So, that is not her as well. That is... Somewhere in here she should be. But this is going to be the cave if you're going to try to farm her. Um, not sure exactly where she should be or would be in this cave, but that's what I read online. And you know what they say, can't put anything on the internet that isn't true. Maybe she's already dead. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I hope you found it useful. Uh, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, uh, checking out my Odyssey channel. That way that, you know, you can get some further support over there. And yeah, we'll be streaming in just a few hours on twitch.tv slash Corey Havoc. 
try to finish clearing this area out, see if she's hidden somewhere else. There she is. Leather gloves. Not uh not not the dagger, but you know, got the hand of Brock, which they're gloves. Um, I mean she dropped a unique. So that's actually that's actually kind of cool. Not daggers, but a unique nonetheless. So you can find her in there. Uh, maybe you'll have better luck farming her. Maybe I'll try to farm her for a few runs to see if I have better luck farming her. We'll see what happens. Anyways, I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out.